So in a lot of my videos, I talk about energetic vibration or vibration, and I say that you need to raise your vibration to attract things into your life. Laughing hysterically to raise my vibration. Okay, what do I mean exactly by energetic vibration? Well, basically, I'm talking about one's mood. If you're in a bad mood, let's say you wake up, you get out of bed, you stub your toe, you're angry, you're annoyed, you get in the shower, it's only flowing cold water, you spill your coffee, the whole day is going badly, and you say, Say, I got out of bed on the wrong side. What actually happened there is that you had a sequence of events that aligned to make you think that you were having bad luck that day. And because you noticed that alignment, your subconscious writes an instant blueprint for the day ahead, and it's just a mini instant belief that we've set up for the morning, maybe for the next couple of hours, and it's negative. And that is a low vibration. So when I talk about a high vibration, you're in a really great mood, you feel happy, you're resonating, you're radiant, you walk into shops, people respond to you positively. If you're in a negative mood, if you're in a bad mood, well then that's a low level of vibration. What is your mood? Because your mood will affect everything around you. It's all energy. We're all connected. The divine matrix, God, energy, the universe, it's all connected. Everything is energetically connected. It's scientifically proven. If we are vibrating at a bad mood level, at a low negative level, then the things that are in resonance with that low level of vibration will be attracted to us. That's what the law of attraction is all about. That's why if you you're really stuck in a rut and you're full of self-pity and you're desperately trying to change things but you just keep beating your breast and saying I'm so unlucky I'm so unhappy your mood and your vibration is putting that out to the universe and it's going to attract the same experiences because the universe responds to your level of vibration and so if you're emitting misery and self-pity the universe will keep matching that with more experiences of the same and that's why I talk about getting your level of vibration up. If you leave the house in a bad mood, notice how what happens when you walk into a shop. People don't pay any attention to you. You might need the shop assistant, but they're busy. Or you might speak to someone behind the counter and they ignore you. It's because your vibration is bad and people don't want to be around you. You walk into the same shop the next day in a good mood with a high vibration. The shop assistant's going to say good morning to you on the doorstep. They're going to turn around and serve you and get you what you want. And guess what? It will probably be in stock as well. That's because you've gone in there with a high vibration and the universe miraculously is matching that level of vibration. It does feel like miracles and I've experienced it many times. You get your level of vibration up on a certain specific project or a certain thing or if you just focus on a goal that you're aiming for and you get your vibration to match that goal as if it's already achieved. It's incredible the miracles that happen and it's the alignment of energies between your subconscious beliefs and the universe which is delivering to you through the law of attraction experiences things and people that match your level of vibration and that's why I talk about vibrations a lot. It's so important to increase your vibration if you want to get better results. Esther Hicks explains it extremely well in her book Ask and it is given. This is an absolutely fantastic book. I thoroughly recommend you take a look at this. She talks a lot about the point of attraction, your level of vibration. I don't think I've read any book that explains it as well as Esther Hicks does. She explains 22 processes that you can use to increase your vibration. So if you're in a low mood, you can just go one step up the ladder using any of her processes. One of the processes, for example, is just meditating on something, an object or a person that you're really thankful for having in your life. And just meditate in a heart of gratitude and put that gratitude out to the universe and just feel really good about that one thing and just concentrate on it and meditate on it and that will actually raise your vibration it will increase your mood it will just put your mood one notch up and that's what you should always be trying to do if you feel that you've fallen into a downward spiral or in your downward mood try and find a way to build it back up again because the mood that you're in will attract similar experiences and things and people that match that vibration. Well, thanks again for listening to this quick presentation on what vibrations are all about. It's all fascinating. I love this whole subject. I'm just starting out my YouTube channel, so do please subscribe if you'd like to hear more anecdotes, stories, personal experiences in how the law of attraction has worked for me and how it hasn't worked occasionally and why that might have been. So see you in the next video.